ICM of UNSA is a wholesale company in the areas of security equipment and clothing. With an enormous warehouse, it has worked to optimize its internal transport. We have to drive relatively long distances, which is not very productive. And it's why we've looked into how to streamline these internal transports. We chose to start using mirror robots to move palletized goods from our receiving area into our narrow aisles where our high-reach trucks operate. Goods arrive in the receiving area on a daily basis, and three mirror robots have a station just inside. When the goods arrive, we receive them, rack them, and set up a mission on our tablet, and then dispatch the robots. It's very easy to manage, very user-friendly. The mobile transport robot drives into the warehouse where it delivers the goods to be picked up by the high-reach trucks. The forklift operator can communicate directly with a robot via the user-friendly interface and easily clear a rack. Together with our forklift trucks, the three Mir robots have optimized our internal transport. We receive about 200 pallets a day, and roughly 80% can be conveyed by Mir, while the rest have to be placed on the floor for picking. So what do they drive? We can get them to transport at least 80 to 100 pallets a day. I'm convinced we can free up one employee for other more valuable creating tasks in our company. To streamline their operation every day, we need these racks where we physically put the pallets in all the aisles throughout my warehouse. So no matter what we receive, I can move it to where it has to be placed. So we've gradually started up with 10 or 15 units, but we need more. Mirror Fleet, which coordinates the Mirror robots with the high-reach trucks, is particularly valuable to the company. It's a brilliant program, it gives us great overview, and it's easy to learn. It's been set up for us in a user-friendly interface. You can see the whole warehouse. You can see the robots and their missions and where they're headed. You can start them up, stop them, and pause them too. When we started looking into it, we discovered that the Mir solution would benefit us more than an AGV solution could. We get greater capacity for the money because we can move more goods for the same cost. And whenever a Mir encounters an obstacle, it drives elegantly around it, so we don't lose time. Whereas an AGV has a more rigid operating pattern. At the UNSA company, they're starting to find new ways to use the Mir robots. I'm convinced that the Mir robots are here to stay. Perhaps we'll need even more. In my view, this will create value for our company for many years to come.